Hey there, this is Amy with Amy Ever After, and I've got a tip that I don't know if this is going to be all that widely used, but for the people who need this information, it's going to be very, very valuable. So I've been trying to make more little slideshows for my blog because um, the video revenue is just fantastic. So um, I was looking for an app that would do this quickly and easily so that I could just take the pictures from my blog and make little musical slideshows. And after trying so many different apps, the one that I liked the most was Adobe Clip. And everything seemed to be going great. And I uh, started downloading photos and started making slideshows. And then I discovered that I couldn't add the licensed music that I had downloaded specifically for this purpose. I had an entire folder of short licensed music for these slideshows. And no matter what I did, I could not get it into Adobe Clip. Adobe Clip is supposed to be able to just uh, look at any MP3 or WAV files that are on my phone and use them. And it just wasn't working. And I searched all the forums. I looked at, you know, every Google result I could. And after years, nobody had solved this problem that I could find. And I just, I wouldn't give up. So as I was messing around, I discovered that there were two clips that were available that were kind of weird because the other ones that were showing up were songs, not all songs. I couldn't figure out why only some of my songs were showing up. Um, but there were two clips that it, it was just weird that they were showing up. One was an MP3 of my podcast and the other was a little clip of my husband's voice. I was like, why are those available? And the stuff that I actually want isn't. So I hooked my phone up to my computer so that I could explore it a little better. And I discovered that both of those clips were in the downloads folder on the phone. And they were both MP3s. So even though Adobe says that you can use WAV files, when I tried putting WAV files into the downloads folder, those didn't work. But when I converted my WAV files to MP3s and put those licensed tracks in the download folder, they worked. I had solved it. So let me show you exactly what to do. All right, so let's say that we wanna do this, um, this first one, 1930s Melancholy. Uh, now, it's a WAV file right now. If you already have it as an MP3, you can skip this next step and just go right to putting it on your phone. But I need to convert it to an MP3 because I saved all of these as WAV files. So I like to use an online program when I'm not um, using one of my own programs called Online Audio Converter. And the reason that I like this, besides it being fast and free, is that it lets you edit the track info. And let me show you why that's important for this particular case. Um, I'm gonna open the file, and you're gonna see down here that the title in the ID3 info is different than what I've named the file. And I want those to be the same so that I can find this on my phone with the title that I'm used to, which is 1930s Melancholy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. You don't have to change it, but if you don't, then you just have to keep in mind that you're looking for the title in the ID3 info and not, not whatever you've named the file. So now we're gonna go ahead and convert that. It's very fast. Download. I'm going to go back to where that's now saved. So we've got the MP3 file here and the WAV file here. I'm gonna copy the MP3 file. And I've got my phone hooked up to my computer. So we're gonna go right to my phone. And you wanna find the downloads file. You're just gonna paste it into there. All right, so there it is, 1930s Melancholy. So now if we go back to the phone, um, I'm going to back out of songs and then go back in and it will be there. And now I can go ahead and play it and I can add it to my slideshow. So just, it's an extra stupid step. Um, 
or two steps if you have to convert it, but at least now it's working. So good luck, have fun. Other than that little glitch, Adobe Clip is a great little free app for making slideshows and I highly recommend it.